Hi there, hello, and good morning. Guess what's for dinner? We are having oven fried chicken and a big pot of green beans and potatoes <clears throat> and a little bit of bacon, you know. So they're going to have the potatoes and their greens in one pan and then just this. And then, of course, there's whatever they want for dessert. There's leftover cake, there's ice cream, that kind of thing. Okay, let me tell you about this. The first thing I did was I got my uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs defrosted. Then I gave them a buttermilk bath for about an hour. I'm going to whoop up these eggs and put those in here too to coat them because the directions say to. I'm using oven fry. What do you think? <laughs> I haven't used it in years. And in the time that I haven't used it, it doesn't come with two anymore. It used to come with two bags with the breading and two clear bags to shake the chicken. Now it comes with one bag and no clear bag, which brings me to my other thing here. I'll be using a Ziploc baggie, even better, I'm sure. Now, because um, things are what they are, it wasn't enough. It was very little uh, breading. So I went ahead and added the same amount of this panko. I think that their breading is panko. It says it's extra crispy, and I think that's what makes it extra crispy, is the panko breading. I added to it, because theirs is flavored and mine's not, I added some ancho chili. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> is it gonna... Try to get it to. Ancho chili and some parsley flakes, and I figure this stuff has got plenty of salt in it. I might, nah, I won't put any, mm, maybe some onion powder. I don't know yet. <laughs> okay, I, um, it says on the directions of the oven fry to spray a pan. I don't like to use it if I can get away with it. I mean, for this, I prefer oil. So I used just a squirt of, here, I used this all over it. And because it's nonstick foil, it kind of pulled. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to mix everything together and show you when it's on the uh, baking sheet. Just poured in the two beaten eggs, and I'll go ahead and mix that all together. All right, I mixed the mix that came with the oven fry and then some of my own panko from the pantry. It looks pretty good. I don't think they'll know unless I tell them. All right, it's, we've got here two, four, six, eight, nine big pieces. So, well, they're thin and they're boneless and skinless, so you know. <laughs> They would have been a lot bigger if they'd had their bones and skin. And then I've got this much of the panko and the uh, oven fried mixture. And I probably would have come up real short if I hadn't added mine. You know, I have a little bit left, but not a whole lot. And there's a good bit of egg left. Maybe I should have soaked it in eggs and buttermilk instead of just buttermilk. But it's got both now. So here we go. I'll put it in the oven. I think it said 400 degrees. I'll have to look. Yeah, it says 40 minutes if there's bone in and 20 minutes if there's not. And don't turn it if there's no bone in. I'll have to check that temperature, I guess. Okay, I rinsed my beans really well and you know, snapped them and did what you do. And now I'm going to put them in a steam basket real quick, like a double boiler, so that I can just get them a head start and they're nice and tender and no big tough bites. I've got two, four, is that six, two, four, five slices of bacon left over from BLTs. I'm going to chop it, throw it in the bottom of this pan. When those get done steaming some, I'm going to add the potatoes and a little bit of beef broth and probably some onion. We'll see. They're in there, the bacon, and I'm just going to put it on real low. That's my plan anyway. There we go, on low. And cut the potatoes, and that's it. I had to cut off some parts, but they're okay. They're still, you know, firm, real firm, and just had some eyes that needed to come out. I decided to use dried onions uh, from my, you know, dehydrator rather than cut up fresh onions. And I put in a whole can. What is this? It's 14.5 uh, ounces. <clears throat> Okay, potatoes, bacon, onions, uh, green beans. Um, I put a little bit of the water that I steamed the green beans in because I didn't want it to go dry while the uh, things were cooking. The potatoes mainly getting soft. And then I added some shakes of the crushed red pepper because the kids all like that. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer. I don't feel safe. <laughs> 20 minutes isn't enough. And it's done. I uh, think it looks beautiful and I can't wait to get into it. And I hope that you all have a good dinner as well. If you liked what you saw, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Always make a comment and press that like button if you feel led. Bye, have a good day.